Loughborough, it's Sheffield Wednesday. Unbeaten so far this season against Leicester City. And this should be a game of thrills because Sheffield Wednesday are not only unbeaten, they have yet to concede a goal in their four matches. But as against that, Leicester City in their four matches have only lost one by a rather unlucky penalty against Liverpool. And they've scored 11 goals more than anyone else in the first division. So no wonder all the fans of both teams have rolled up to see this fine first division match. And if we have a look at the Sheffield Wednesday side, first of all, we find that Sheffield Wednesday are playing the team that played so magnificently at Wembley in the cup final last season. So number five, young Stan Ellis is still in instead of the um, injured Vic Mobley. And there's Ron Springer, the number two goalkeeper in England, a great servant of the Sheffield Wednesday club. Now the Leicester City team playing today in all red. A man to watch for is Derek Dugan, number nine. Very dangerous player, and also the number seven, Sinclair. And we've seen number two goalkeeper. There's the number one goalkeeper in England, Gordon Banks. Strangely enough, born in Sheffield. And so the crowd, and we are all waiting for the start of the match of the day, Sheffield Wednesday against Leicester City. And as Mr. Cook of Sabden near Burnley checks his watches, it's Leicester City to kick off. And away you go, Leicester. Remember, this game is taking place on perhaps the finest club ground in Britain. Magnificent ground here at Hillsborough. Real credit to the progressive club, Sheffield Wednesday. And here's Dugan. Springer, the first of the top-class goalkeepers in action. Banker. Good fellow, Dugan. Good fellow, string fellow. And Sinclair, dangerous attack. Ford. Q in the middle. And a great save by Banks is Kaliog Hurt. Uh, he's all right. Well, Leicester might have scored more goals than anyone else, but they have been throwing goals away, and that's the reason why that picks up you saw. Quinn. confusing with the Leicester side with a good fellow and a string fellow in the team. Number four. There's Graham Cross. And the Mixon, the Wednesday captain. Rodriguez.
first free kick of the match. Number nine, fouls number nine, McCallion, fouls Dugan. Rodrigues with the free kick for Leicester City. Sinclair. There's Jackie Sinclair. Sparkling form this season, goal scoring form as well. Eustace, the best young Moonhouse in the business. And here's Smith, 20 years of age today. Number two for Leicester. At number two for Wednesday, rather. Dennis Gibson. Norman. Roberts do. Oh, Rodriguez. Man. Good fellows selling each other the dummy. Both of them buying it from each other. Number nine, McCallion. Norman. Roberts moving well off the ball then. Five minutes gone, no score. And Norman for Leicester. Number nine, Dugan. There's a good snapshot by Gibson. There's Gibson. Roberts. Nixon. Free kick to Leicester, going to be taken by Rodrigue, Welsh International. And a bit of cool football by Smith, Martin McCallion. And Fatman strolling into space then. Sinclair to Stringfellow. is playing a fine game number five for Wednesday and this is Quinn number 11 20 minutes gone no score and there's the electric scoreboard at Hillsborough would that many more teams have a scoreboard like that Quinn this all-action stuff that delighted the crowd at Wembley last May. Ford back to Eustace. Q. And great shot again by Banks. He anticipated that move by Phantom. There's Phantom. Roberts to number 10, Gibson. who's there for Wednesday, up now to Phantom. And he's moving up on his right. Wednesday finding space so well. Get it. 
Rodriguez. Quarter of an hour from half time, no score. Some young Leicester supporters I met in the town earlier this morning told me it would be 3 0 for Leicester. Well, Larry not Leicester often come late. They got three goals in the last ten minutes against Blackpool in midweek and won 3 0. There's a free kick to Leicester, foul on Dugan by Young. Push in the back. Rodriguez going to take the free kick. Then a Cardiff player. Corner. Dugan normally times his jumps beautifully, but he's being out jumped by both Young and Ellis in this match. There's Dugan, colourful player. Portsmouth, Blackburn, Peterborough, Aston Villa have all seen him before he arrived at Leicester. Calliard on the break, and five Leicester men racing back to cover. Stanton going way on the right. With Leicester full marks the way they all up an attack and then came back to cover. Certainly came back to outnumber Sheffield Wednesday. Gibson, number 10, with a lot of room. There's Dugan, and it will be number one, the first goal this season against Sheffield Wednesday, scored by Dugan. 32 minutes gone. These young Leicester City supporters I met this morning, and no doubt in that crowd, they told me that Dugan would get the first and Sinclair would get the second and third for their team. Well, Dugan's got the first. One nil, Leicester City in the lead. First time one has had to pick the ball out of the net this season. Hampton. Dugan to Stringfellow. Here comes Goodfellow. Sinclair to Goodfellow. Eustace trying to get Wednesday away. Smith. Back to Robert. Eustace. Wednesday can't get those high ones. The advantage always with Leicester when the ball's in the air.
Wednesday struck a real bad patch now. Certainly this goal has knocked the bottom out of our world. One goal to nil, they trail Leicester City at home. Pew up to Ford is being very closely marked by Schoberg. Sheffield Wednesday, very young side. They're, one thing they perhaps have to learn yet is how to pace the game. Who's run the risk of running out of steam? Six is young, well, third time lucky. This is Sinclair. Oh, and Smith just had to handle that one, otherwise, Stringfellow would have been streaking clear. Uh, Will Smith, who's regaled with them, um, for us a happy birthday to you before the start on his 20th birthday. Funny enough, he wasn't born in Sheffield, not even born in England. He was born in Germany, where his father was a soldier. Springer. Eustace. Smith moves forward, notice Stringfellow, and the old dark strip moving with him to cover him. with on the far side Pugh who stayed back and Smith went upfield this is Young Quinn number 11 now Mix Maybe a shot from him. Well, when the Leicester defence, which started rather shaky fashion, is now tightened itself up quite considerably. And obstruction by McCallion. One good fellow. Indirect free kick to Leicester City. Breaking on the right. That was a move that was telegraphed too much. Behind the throws, there you see the old fashioned scoreboard at Hillsborough. Still being used along with the electric scoreboard behind the goal to our right. trying to gain about 30 yards that was an Irish exaggeration but nevertheless <laughs> 
Roberts taking the throw in the end. And Eustace. Leicester just backing away. Not willing to challenge in this midfield no man's land. Young finding Mexico. Ford. He a wide open space, but not a windy man there. The whistle goes, and yes, the whistle goes now for half time. And there you see the electric scoreboard. Number nine under Leicester City means the scorer was number nine, Dugan. And there he is, Derek Dugan, the Irish international. Leicester City, one goal to nil in the lead at half time. You know that then the Sheffield Wednesday fans are really going to believe in this Leicester City jinx. Because September the 11th, 1957, that's the last time that Sheffield Wednesday managed to beat Leicester City. They started off well enough today, looking as if they were going to get on top, but the longer the first half went, the more confident Leicester became, and at the moment then, it's the best attack in the league, getting the upper hand over the best defence in the league. I wonder whether it would work out like that in the second half. Sheffield Wednesday, trailing by one goal to nil. Start the second half. Again, the referee, Mr. Cook, checking all his watches. Satisfied, everybody is ready. And Sheffield Wednesday. Start the second half. Go down, remember. Number two is Smith. Eustace. And Mixon making ground on the left. There's Mixon. The ball to Quinn. And the cross getting it away. Now Young. So Wings are going hammer and tongue at them right from the start. That's going to work by Quinn. A young ten Leicester men back packing in defence. Number two is Smith. Number eight, Phantom. Gordon Banks, of course, always likes to turn it on here in his hometown of Sheffield. Bounced badly for Young. And McCallion. Quinn, better and better each time I see him play. That's Quinn, number 11. And the pace hasn't slackened right from the start. String fellow. Like a foul. It's number 11, Mike Stringfellow. Pushed down by Smith. Free kick to Leicester. The man going to take the free kick is Gibson. His long floating centre that paved the way for the goal. Free kick has been given. Ellis allegedly going over the ball on Dugan. He's going over the ball and putting him right on the 
base of the leg. Roberts with the free kick. That's string fellow. Dangerous customer when he moves into the middle. Corner kick, is it though? A goal kick. A decision which does not meet with 100% approval among the crowd behind the goal. for Wednesday. Shot by Quinn, but Banks had let them cover all the way. One thing Wednesday are doing, they're giving the middle three of Leicester very little chance to move up into the attack. three have gone back to form a solid defensive wall. Good fellow. Sinclair, one of the rare Leicester attacks. Watch Dugan. Wednesday might well be advised to try and draw Leicester up onto the attack to hit them with a quick counter. Carry out to Phantom. Was the free kick given? I think it was, surely. Free kick, Ford appeared to push his man down. Yes, number 10, Ford. Saying a spot of elbowing by cross free kick to Wednesday. Quinn going to take the free kick. Smith moving up quickly. Smith number two. Oh, beautifully anticipated by cross. Number 10. Ten minutes of the second half gone. Leicester City, the old dark strip leading Sheffield Wednesday 1-0. And by uh, Young. Trying to claim then that it was accidental hands. But Mr. Cook having none of that excuse. Number four, Roberts with the free kick for Leicester. Dugan, chance for number two. Oh, the luck was with him then. Sinclair. Yes, Sinclair just had an Ezron springing in the background. I bet he's still wondering how he saved that. And the first time we've seen either trainer on, it's the Sheffield Wednesday trainer on to have a look at uh, Young, number six. Jerry Young. 
Doesn't matter how you save them, as long as you save them. Goalkeepers are always on a beating to nothing. And Young, is he going to be all right? And he's a big, tough fellow, Jerry Young. It takes a lot to knock him out. Young, all right again. It's a throw to Leicester City. And Rodriguez. Now a chance for the Kalyov to break play. Two, got three men in the back line, now being reinforced with seven men in defence. For to Franco. Full marks to Leicester, though, coming back, though, recovering and forming up in defence so quickly. Number eight, third, Tavikis Sinfad, the Phantom. And the crowd enthusiastic enough, especially for those who are right. And the left strength, well, that looks offside, yes, the linesman's flag, and the ref. I thought the ref I think the referee did wave play on that wasn't a free kick though Springer might have thought it was. Not out of play. All the ball must be over the line before it's out of play. Is Q with number seven for Shippy Winston. Now Quinn, he might equalize. Perfect positioning by Banks. He read the danger, that's why he was six or seven yards out of his goal. The inside area, or the goal area in the penalty area, is six yards from the goal line. Young to Smith. The Leicester City fans with their favourite chance. We've got the best goalkeeper in the land. Eustace. Quinn. And up now comes McCallio. Wednesday playing nice enough football till it gets near the box and then uh, hungering on the rock of this very well-packed Leicester defence is Rodriguez for Leicester Sinclair Gibson Ooh. no wonder Gibson raised his arms then because I think Springer thought that was well wide. And that was but a whisker wide. Still 1 0 for Leicester City. Now Eustace. Ward being posted about at times by three men. Phantom. He's Mexican breaking on the left. And the corner to Leicester City. The two Chevy Wednesday. Rather. Going over to take the corner is number seven, Pew. Stringfellow. 
is how Springett was out of his goal to narrow the angle of Stringfellow. There's Stringfellow. Stringfellow was running in, robbing him of a fight of the goal. Kalliog to Mixon. Wednesday desperately needing a goal now. And there's a chance for them. And a brilliant re recovery by Cross. Ford might well have been sharper and headed in the back of the net. Comedian, a lot of this is play acting. He was obviously fouled, but he um, always brings out the gestures. The great Martin Harvey of football. Yeah. The great Lawrence Olivier, if you like it that way. Free kick to Leicester. Take by Rodriguez, Rodriguez, then Leicester lead one now. And Dugan looking round as if he should have had a penalty, and he finds out that he's been penalised himself. And Derek Dugan's in a football match. There's always something to keep the fans buzzing away with the talks and the arguments. Mexon, this is Mexon on the left. Ford to Quinn. It's Schoberg there. Schoberg and Cross have played magnificently in the middle of the... Um, uh, there's Schoberg, John Schoberg, the captain of uh, Leicester City. It's before the ball ever got anywhere near here, Cross, it's a free kick to Sheffield Wednesday. They've been an infringement. Ten yards paced out. Eustace, the first man running up to take it. Pick it up for Megson. And the corner. There's Don Megson. Captain of Sheffield Wednesday. See whether a change of corner kick taker will bring a change of luck. Weight of numbers winning it for Leicester. That's Smith. Next. Oh, a real high jinx from the goal bar. The Leicester defenders were claiming the banks was fouled. Full marks to Cross and to Schoberg for their work in the Leicester defence and to the Gibson. And good fellow, good fellow got through a tremendous amount of hard work without ever being showy or flashy about it. Eustace there again for Wednesday. And Banks there again for Leicester. to Eustace. Fine player, Jack. 
so far, I think. Phantom has got Quinn, Quinn number 11. Corner and the pressure really on Leicester City as the second kick away. Yet another corner for Sheffield Wednesday, but in this modern football, corners are given away. Oh, 20 to the dozen. We saw that during the World Cup. Smith. Well, it was a long way from the goal, but nearly a direct hit on the referee. What a story it would have been if young Smith, Will Smith, 20 today, could have got the equalising goal in what? At the last minute now, I should think. just a minute to go. Less than one nil up. Number four is Eustace. Here's Nixon. Go kick despite what Mikhailov thinks. Referee now has stopwatch in his hand. Dugan giving away a free kick. Testing his innocence. And Cody to test his innocence and it's a free kick to Sheffield Wednesday going to be taken by Smith. Ellis moving up, Young has moved up, Megson's moved up, everybody's moved up I would think. Loses to get ruffled. And now in injury time, Sheffield Wednesday, who beaten Blackpool and Aston Villa at home, Villa away and drawn at Chelsea. Look as if they're going to taste defeat for the first time. Hugh has different ideas. No penalty, it is quite the super optimistic claims of some of the younger spectators behind the goal. Leicester's away record is a draw at Blackpool and narrow defeat at Liverpool and home wins against West Ham and Blackpool. Twelve goals so far in the five cup ties, uh, five uh, matches this season, eight again. Even injury time must be running out now. There's Norman, the left back, left full back to Leicester. Oh, it's a goal! A goal in the last second! And it's Hugh that got it. Banks has come out to appeal that he was fouled. The last seconds, it's Hugh, the number seven, who got it. And the whistle goes. They're not going to kick off. The game is all over. It's one goal each. A sensational ending. The goal with the last kick of the match, scored by number seven, Graham Hugh. Oh, what a finish to a football match. Thank you.